were very, the discipline was very strict in, in my early times. Uh, corporals were considered very close to God or anybody that was above a corporal was, was God. Uh, you, you were very respectful. You never called a, an NCO by his first name. Uh, you, you called him by his rank. We worked seven days a week and 24 hours a day and never questioned it. Uh, if we worked all day, did a shift all day, and then uh, went to bed and uh, there was an accident or a domestic uh, dis uh, call or a break-in, uh, we got up, got dressed and went out and, and did the investigation. I said to the corporal, is there a chance I could get the weekend off to go to spend with my girlfriend up in Clear Lake? And he said, Dan, have you decided not to make a career out of being in the RCMP? And, and so I didn't get the weekend off. Um, and that was, that was the mentality at that time. <clears throat> Back in the 50s, you, I remember doing Highway Patrol out of Wetaskiwin with uh, two 57 Meteors, six-cylinder engines. One had top speed of 72 and the other one had top speed of 76. And finally, the NCO worked a deal with the Chrysler dealership who supplied us with a 57 Plymouth with a V8 in it, which was really big time. <laughs> uh, if you had a fatal motor vehicle accident, you were on duty, you had a, carried a box in the back with a camera, a hundred foot tape, and a notepad with a pencil. You did all your own measurements, all your own photography, got the vehicles off the road as quick as you could, and uh, spent two and a half years, a lot of it working radar. And in those days I was very lucky. I worked radar in civilian clothes and uh, with what was referred to as an old S2 radar set, operated off a 24 volt Caterpillar battery. And uh, you just set it up on the side of the highway. Basically what I was able to do <coughs> was I would take off Monday morning and I would pick a direction. If I wanted to go west, I would stop at Stoney, work a day with the detachment, go to Evansburg, work a day with the detachment, on to Edson, on to Jasper, and then it was time to turn around and come home. And that took care of my day and took care of my week. And basically, it was a lot of driving. And like I said, they told me when I joined the Mono Police, joined the Mono Police and Sea Canada. For my first 11 years, I saw 200 miles of highway number two. When I close my eyes, I wake up. And